Welcome back to the channel, guys. And today I have for you all an account giveaway. Now, I don't do very many account giveaways really whatsoever, but this player, two things. One, a good account. I think a lot of players would like this account. But two, uh, this player has been a part of my community for a very long time. He's a Twitch moderator over on the Twitch side of things for my channel. And he's been a part of my clan or clan cluster, I believe, for about two years. A very, very long time. And he came to me about a few weeks ago saying that raid was just taking too much time. Doesn't make sense. So instead of just letting the account rot, he wanted to give it away to somebody. And honestly, this is a perfect Christmas gift. Speaking of, if you do go for this account, ideally, it's going to actually be an upgrade for you. It's kind of weird if you go for it and you're like well beyond the point of this account, right? Um, but if you're a player who's been playing Raid, really enjoying it, and you want an account that's a little bit deeper into the game, this may be an awesome account for you to actually enter into to win. I'll let you guys know how to do that in just a second. But it's kind of funny in a way, or interesting, that he actually decided to quit before the Sand Devils Necropolis came out, which now would be even more time spent in the game because the Sand Devils Necropolis is a place that if you want to keep up, you might as well farm it, right? Now, I don't know if he has Nodgar. If he has Nodgar, I should have taken advantage of it possibly. Let's see. Uh, no Nodgar. Okay, so Nodgar was basically was absolutely broken for like two hours when the Sand Devils Necropolis was actually released. Now, a Shane's account, guys. Be ready for what you're about to see, okay? Prepare yourself. This makes me a little bit jealous. And this is going to be how you can actually enter this account and when I'll be drawing it. But check this out. Champions 3, 2, 1. There's a Hegemon. There's a Hegemon on the account. Is it only one Hegemon? It's only one Hegemon. Let's see. Let's go ahead and admire the champions that he has, okay? So we have a Hegemon. We have a Yumiko. Amazing, amazing, amazing champions. Scroll through this a little bit. We have two Arbiters. We also have two copies of an amazing champion, Kaimar. Two copies of Kaimar, Rodos. We have some crazy good champions for Arena, for Hydra, for Clan Boss. It's done. It's easy. I'll show you guys all the dungeons in a minute. But how are you going to actually enter to win this account? Well, obviously, you're going to comment below your favorite champion, but but not actually your favorite champion, my favorite champion, okay? So comment Hegemon. Comment Hegemon down below because, honestly, I know that really of all these champions, <laughs> your favorite's going to be Hegemon, okay? So just comment Hegemon down below, and I'll be drawing for this account this Sunday, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, okay? Now, you don't have to be on the stream. It's going to be over at twitch.tv forward slash Tyraku. You don't have to be there. I'll do the drawing, and then I'll pick the comment, and then I'll reply to the comment, get you to change your comment, or I'll confirm it. I have my ways to confirm the comment, and then the winner of the comment, I'll post in the community page. Hopefully, you guys accept it within about 24 hours and actually um, claim the account, because if not, then I'll just redraw the name. But be alert, especially from 10 a.m. Sunday. It'll probably be drawn more so at like 11 a.m., if you want to stop by, feel free. But if not, don't worry. You don't have to be there because I know 10 a.m. for some people, depending on your time zone, is a really weird time. But either way, this account looking pretty good, okay? You have some really good Void Legendary Champions. Yumiko, honestly, arguably better than Hegemon. I understand. Hegemon's not really part of the arena meta anymore as far as Platinum Arena goes. But you can still build amazing 3v3 teams with them, classic arena teams. If you're not pushing Platinum... Hegemon's going to be used very frequently, in my opinion. So his Hegemon currently is in um, high accuracy build, so a high um, just placing that debuff. Honestly, I may switch this to like a stun set with high accuracy, maybe a little bit better of a control build. But either way, it's going to be up to whoever wins this account. Speaking of, whoever wins the account will be grandfathered in, essentially, into my clan. So you will be part of the Coliseum. Now, obviously, it's up to you if you want to keep this account in my clan or not. You guys are free to leave doesn't really matter but you will be in the clan it's a tier 6 cvc clan we do have some clan requirements and everything but that'll all be laid out and if it fits good for you then you're welcome to stay especially if you want some guidance if you're a newer player this would be a very solid start to the game especially if you're somebody around like say 3 million 5 million player power where this is a pretty big upgrade and you want to learn a little bit more this is an awesome account to do so on so scroll through a few more of the champions arbiter the speed arbiter is 371 so it's a pretty fast arbiter she's gonna be doing pretty well Nothing's ascended yet, so we can go ahead and try to ascend this pair of boots. Maybe we get some extra speed. Unlikely. Defense. Yeah, kind of figures. I'm not going to ascend anything right now. I'll let you guys work on that when you actually win the account. Best of luck to everybody. Two Arbiters. This Arbiter is not built yet. We have Lydia. The Clan Boss team that he's running. We have Samar. Jim Cursed. Awesome champion. For, for Bommel stuff, but other than that, honestly, not, a, not an amazing champion. Uh, but also, a lot of other options for Bommel and entirety of Doom Tower. I'm pretty sure Shane has cleared the Doom Tower a few times. Let's see. 
uh, Doom Tower clears. Yeah, so he's cleared the, I guess, one of the rotations. Uh, the other Eternal Dragon rotation and the Dark Fae rotation has not been cleared. However, I know without a doubt that he can clear both of those rotations. Just got to change up the teams and actually put in the effort to do so. Now, as far as his dungeon time, let's go ahead and check this out. So Ice Golem, his best time on stage 24 is 558, so definitely can be improved. Uh, 25 is 440. He has Ninja. So I know without a doubt that this team, both of these teams can be improved. So he has Ninja. He has all the daily login champions up until now, which is the Ronda event. And he will be getting Ronda because he's like day three of seven. I've been logging in to get that. Uh, Spider's Den should be a pretty fast team. 40 seconds on stage 25. 41 doesn't really matter on stage 24. Stage 20, pretty fast team. Dragon's Lair. Let's see. 24 is four minutes and 28 seconds. Uh, 25 is 224. Also a dungeon that I'm 99% sure he can definitely make quite a bit faster. So definitely something to work on there, which is good. Because honestly, if you're a player getting an account and you're not super far in the game, okay, say you're that 3 million, 4 million-ish player power range, getting an account that is complete with everything and no real learning curve may actually make the game a little bit boring. You know, whenever you played like Grand Theft Auto, you have like cheat codes, if you guys ever played that. But if you had cheat codes, it's fun for the first 20 minutes or so. And then it's kind of like, what the heck? What am I doing? I have nothing to work towards. So now you have some teams that you can make significant differences on. So Fire Knight 25, two minutes and two seconds. That's a pretty decent team. It's a pretty decent time, especially for Fire Knight. A little bit more of a, a difficult dungeon. So pretty good time there. He has two Kaimars. So without a doubt, these teams can be faster for sure. Two Kaimar car, two Kaimars and a Yumiko. So that should be pretty easy Doom Tower runs as well as dungeon runs. So Fire Knight, two minutes and two seconds, right? 24, 251, and Stage 20, a minute 12. So Stage 20 teams are pretty good. Then obviously Minotaur, just a solo champion, nothing special there. As far as a clan boss, I know for sure it's a one key team, probably a Bad Eater team or a, a Demitha team. Okay, so it's Bad Eater with Bellinor. Uh, but what else do you guys want to see? Faction Wars done. Obviously we have Lydia. Pretty easy stuff there. Uh, Arena, it's slowly decaying over time. So you guys will have a climb back in the gold five. Shouldn't be an issue though. He's using uh, these teams for Arena. We have Baron, Baron <laughs> Tormen, Go Second, General Candy. Okay, so pretty neat teams. I like to see that Hegemon's in most of the teams. Yeah, definitely what I like to see. Uh, 3v3, we're going to be decaying. So, uh, bronze 4, it's going to keep going down and down until the count is actually drawn for this Sunday. But like I said, this Sunday at 10 a.m., comment Hegemon down below. You'll be entered into the giveaway. Uh, as far as the Hydra, I'm not for sure what teams he has for Hydra. We are doing Brutal, Hard, and Normal. We're working towards Nightmare. So that'd be ideal. Whoever starts playing this account, ideally, okay, no teams for Hydra. So if you win this account, we can definitely help you out with Hydra. Not a problem. Get you some auto team set up, things like that. I don't want to make this video 20 minutes long. No reason for it. An account giveaway video. Best of luck to everybody actually enter this account giveaway. Thank you all. This is going to be a, I guess, early Christmas present for somebody. Best of luck to everybody. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll get back to the regular raid content and I'll catch you all in the next video.